Hello, my most amazing artist. Today, I'm going to be meeting with each of you separately up at my desk. We're going to go through your portfolio and look at all of your art and pick a piece for an art show. And then I'm going to let you take the rest of your art home. And while I'm doing that with everybody, you guys will be at your tables working on this turkey. So there's numbers and each number corresponds with a color. So right here, I'm going to show you so that you know what to do. So one should be orange. So anytime you see a number one, it should be the color orange. Two should be red. Now look, I want to show you something. There are lots of crayons that look red, but crayons actually say the color. So this says red and you can match it with this R-E-D, R-E-D. So I know that this crayon's red. So anytime I see a number two, so like there's a number two, it would be red. Okay. Now I just want to show you like that said red. This one says something different. It does have the word red, but it has violet in front. So this color is not going to be the same as a true red. So be sure that you find a crayon that says red when you're coloring red. All right, yellow is pretty easy. So you're going to find a yellow crayon. Threes right here are going to be yellow. This yellow is kind of crummy, but that's okay. All right, <clears throat> now both four and five are going to be brown, but one is a light brown and one is a dark brown. So this is going to be kind of tricky. You might want to do black for the dark brown if you can't find a dark brown. Um, it might be really hard to find two different color browns. Like this looks pretty dark. Here's one that looks dark. So just kind of compare them. And you can even do it on your messy mat. Like you might, that one looks pretty light. That one's darker. So you can color on your messy mat and see if you have a darker and a lighter one. So I'm going to use these two because this one looks dark and this one looks light. So my light brown is for number four. So see, it says light brown. And I'm going to show you that we need light brown. You could do like a tan maybe even if you needed to. And you can peel these crayons because some of them are kind of old. You can peel them. Just be sure that the trash goes in the garbage can. Don't put it back in this bin. So there's my light brown. And then my dark brown is here. Okay, so when you color, I want you coloring super duper neat because I may let you go to the carpet if you finish this, but if you scribble, you can't go to the carpet. I'm going to send you back to your seat and make you color. So look, two is red. I'm going to color the outline just like I showed you earlier in the year, and I'm going to color neat. And if you get all the lines just a little bit, that's okay, but it should be really, 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 really neat. Okay, three, here's my three, should be what color? Yellow. So again, I'm going to uh-oh, my crayon broke. That happens. It's okay. I was coloring really hard. <coughs> I'm going to color the outline. And I'm going to color very neatly. Okay? One is what color? Orange. So, I have to find my orange crayon. There it is. I'm going to color the outline. Remember, you need to color super neat. No scribbling. Take your time. And be listening for me to call your name because I will be calling your name to call you up and meet with me. Okay, four right here is a light brown. See, I, ooh, I started to scribble. I had to stop myself. And five is dark brown. Only one I see that's five is this big circle. So I'm not gonna make you watch me color the whole big circle, but look at how I outline. I'm gonna outline and then color in. So I'm just gonna get this one outlined. And then I'll let you go to your seat and get started. Remember, you're listening for your name. When you hear me call your name, you're going to come up to my desk and we're going to look at all your artwork so far from the year. But while you're waiting on me to call your name, you are coloring this turkey to the best of your ability. No scribbling. Look at the colors. I'm going to leave this up on the board so you can look up on the board and see that one is orange, two is red, three is yellow, light brown and dark brown. Remember, test your browns on your messy mat to find a lighter one and a darker one. If you can't, just use black for the body and that will work. All right, have a great day. Enjoy this art project.